Senator Gillenbrand of the U.S. Senate and Hillary Clinton campaigner pretty much admitted the fact that Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama have funded radical Islamic extremists, including ISIS. We have been bombing ISIS for 13 months, and we have made no significant process at all, and ISIS has been growing. What is happening here? This is not an easy fix. It's not going to be something that's short. But she funded and armed them. She funded and armed them. I think her approach, her approach, her approach, her approach is to create a collaborative effort. I think that's the only way we can move forward. How can we move forward when we finance them? When we finance them. We obviously should never finance ISIL. We should never finance ISIL or ISIS or any terrorist organization. But we did, and, Hi and Hillary did. But we did, and, Hi and Hillary did. Hi and Hillary did. I wouldn't say that that was the purpose of the program. The purpose of the program was to arm the moderates. Can you tell us what the total number of trained fighters remains? Uh, it's a small number, and uh, uh, the ones that are in the fight is uh, is is we're talking four, four or five. Graham, the purpose of the program was to arm the moderates. Four or five. Uh, the moderates turned out to be not great fighters, and so we have what we have. So I think President Obama has said this is not the approach that we need to take going forward. I agree with that. I didn't agree with the strategy in the beginning. The purpose of the program was to arm the moderates. Four or five. I didn't agree with the strategy in the beginning. <laughs> Senator Gillenbrand did try to effectively dodge and weave me, and the only thing that really saved her is this poor excuse for reporters that were there who were asking her questions like, what's her best personality? Why did the U.S. create ISIS, this terrorist organization that's murdering, butchering, killing innocent human beings in the Middle East? It's a creation of your foreign policy. At least she admitted the fact that that was the case, and she couldn't dodge that. The Russians are conducting military operations in, in the Middle East for the first time since World War II. So that's so bombing that's, the people yeah. uh, that we are supporting. It's a small number. The, Steve, let me just say this. It's I an mean, embarrassment. We, we, uh, so with the additional steps I ordered last month, we're speeding up training of ISIL forces. A shocking story today, everyone, in the Wall Street Journal. It says our American dollars may be getting into the hands of ISIS. ISIL forces. The money is reportedly getting funneled through Iraq's central bank into Iranian banks and then possibly to terrorists. It's an embarrassment. What should be done, what can be done in this latest chapter of the saga of ISIS getting control over our weapons, now perhaps our money. In a secret analysis by the agency you ran, the Defense Intelligence Agency in August 2012 said, and I quote, there is the possibility of establishing a That's declared a or undeclared Salafist, it's not secret anymore, it was released under FOI. The quote is, there is the possibility of establishing a declared or undeclared Salafist principality in eastern Syria, and this is exactly what the supporting powers to the opposition want in order to isolate the Syrian regime. Your agency was saying, quote, the Salafists, the Muslim Brotherhood, and Al-Qaeda in Iraq are the major forces driving the insurgency in Syria. Mm -hmm. In 2012, the yeah. U.S. was helping coordinate arms transfers to those same groups. It was a decision. I think it was a willful decision. A willful decision to go support an insurgency that had Salafists, Al-Qaeda, well, and Muslim Brotherhood. A willful Brotherhood. decision to do what they're doing, which, which you, have to really, you have to really ask the president, what is it that he actually is doing? Well, ladies and gentlemen, ISIS is a subsidiary of the United States government. Haven't you been watching the news? They have been bought and paid for with our tax dollars. But why, you say, why? Why, you say, why?